Hey there, it's Jasper from Presley here today with a video review comparing Cision, Muckrack, and Presley. As you can see on the screen that I'm sharing here, we do have a comprehensive article that we also wrote about this topic. That goes into a lot more depth about how all these tools stack up, kind of what the differences are between all of them. If you want to read that, I definitely recommend checking it out. All you need to do is Google Cision versus Muckrack versus Presley, and you should see it show right up. Now, for the sake of this video review to keep things more streamlined and to just kind of answer that main question of which of these tools should you go for, um, I'm just going to focus mostly on this section down here, which has the core takeaways of the entire article and kind of the comparison between the three. And what I'd really say when you're looking at these three tools as to which one you should go with, there are really two main factors that come to mind for me as to what you should be considering. So one of those factors is gonna be your PR approach and more specifically how you're looking to build relationships with journalists and how you're looking to build your own database of journalists to have those relationships with and furthermore to pitch and try to get your coverage through. Um, so that's one factor. And then the other factor is going to be pricing, right? Like, do you have a larger, more corporate budget that you're working with? Or are you working with a bit of a smaller budget, but hoping to ramp up your PR budget over time? So on that first factor, and I'll go through each tool one by one, um, I'd say that Muckrack falls right in the middle of um, PR approach in the sense of how curated it is versus how expansive it is. If that's kind of the spectrum we're considering here, right? Like very targeted and curated versus less curated or maybe not curated at all and super expansive, I'd say Muckrack falls right in the middle. So with Muckrack, they have a large-ish media database. It's not as large as Cisions, um, but they also have tools built to really help make your pitching more targeted than a tool like Cision would have. And so to give you more context on that, Cision has the largest media database on the market. They have over a million contacts that you can purchase as part of their media database. Um, but you'll get that maximum reach, but it's not very curated at all. Right? So just between those two tools of Cision and Muckrack with their media databases, Muckrack is smaller, but it's more updated, more curated, and their pitching tools kind of help make it a bit more personal. Cisions is as large as you can get, but it's not going to be as updated. People have reported that the records aren't always very accurate. And at the same time, um, it's, it's not going to be as easy for you to send those targeted pitches. Now, Presley's a bit different when we consider how contacts are even communicated with and collected and targeted. And to explain that a little bit more, I am going to scroll a bit down to a section here that we have discussing why we don't support media databases. And so at Presley, we don't have media databases at all as part of our tool. And the main reason for that is that we don't think that they really work for PR anymore. And we also don't find them very ethical. So with media databases, not only will you find outdated information, which is part of that not working bit, if you're sending emails to contacts that don't really exist or aren't journalists anymore, it's just going to be ineffective. Um, but it's also a bit impersonal. It can be annoying for a journalist to continue getting outreach from someone that they don't already know. Um, and at the end of the day, they're not completely GDPR compliant. Some companies will try to say that their databases are, but you are getting somebody's personal information without their consent, which means you are at the end of the day violating GDPR rules. So going back up now to these main takeaways, that's why at Presley we don't have a media database, but we do fall all the way at the start or you know at the at the left side of that spectrum of curated and targeted. Um, because instead what we've done is built an entire tool about helping you create your own CRM of media databases or of media contacts that you have and building relationships with them so that way you can have very, very targeted and effective outreach. So to wrap up that, uh, that whole point on the approach side of um, comparing these three tools, we would say that Presley falls all the way to the curated and targeted side of uh, acquiring contacts and having media relationships and having that be focused as part of your PR approach. Muckrack falls right in the middle. You are buying contacts through them, but you're using a bit more targeted outreach and it's a little bit more curated. And then decisions all the way at the right where you're going to get the most contacts and you're going to maximize your reach. So really consider what kind of approach you want to follow, right? Do you want to build real relationships and try to get uh, very effective, accurate coverage by more curated sources that are more dedicated around what you're selling? Um, or do you really just want to get as much coverage as you possibly can and you don't really care as much about the efficacy or the results that that coverage brings, right? Um, so now stepping away from approach and going over to pricing, um, pricing does vary pretty significantly between these three tools. So again, we'll have a spectrum there too from least expensive to most expensive. Um, so starting out with Muckrack, that falls on the most expensive side. Now we don't have um, exact pricing on any of these tools and we always recommend with Muckrack and Cision reaching out to their sales team if you are serious about trying out 
those tools to get a more specific answer on what the pricing looks like. Though we have done a lot of research and we've written an article dedicated around Cision's pricing as well as one on Muckrock's pricing and some other tools in the industry like Meltwater to try to get a better idea of what that pricing looks like so that you don't have to go out of your way to speak to a sales rep if you're not quite ready to commit at that level yet. So down here, we also have created a pricing table. And so that's where you can see what we've estimated the annual price for each tool is. Now, both of those tools, they also don't provide any monthly plans or any free trials. So when you do sign up, you do need to sign an annual contract and be prepared to um, have a deeper commitment at that level. So Muckrack, again, falls on the most expensive side. That we found generally from what people have explained to us and from what others have mentioned on forums, that they're at around $10,000 a year uh, in their pricing, roughly. Though it can vary um, around that, that's where the average falls. Uh, Cision is going to be in the middle. They're slightly cheaper than Muckrack, though not the cheapest tool, and that's at around $7,200 a year. Um, and then Presley is going to be all the way at the cheapest. We do have plans to start as low as $50 a month, and we also don't give you that commitment, so you can sign up monthly and cancel month by month. Um, or you can go annual, um, or you can also do a 14-day free trial and just give Presley a shot before you actually commit to anything at all. So that's where pricing varies for those three tools. Um, with Presley, you know what you're paying for in advance, and that pricing is accurate because it just comes directly from our pricing page. With Cision and Muckrack, obviously pricing is going to have large variations depending on which parts of their platform you need. And that is why their sales rep work with you to create a more bespoke package to help you figure out that pricing. Um, so that's really everything to wrap it up on last time. Um, with Muckrack, Cision, and Presley, comparing those three tools. Muckrack, you're going to get um, right in the middle of that approach side of things on how curated it is uh, versus how expansive and wide reaching it is. And for pricing, you're going to get the most expensive tool. So we would suggest Muckrack specifically for somebody who still needs that more expansive outreach, but has a bit of an emphasis on efficacy and has a larger budget to play with. Now, Cision is going to be middle on the tool price and it's going to be the most expansive database but maybe not the most effective so we would recommend that for companies that really just want to get as much coverage as they can and mainly um, looking to get um, coverage from sources where they can use those as more reputable examples of places that they've been covered but maybe not to expect full results from those sources directly um, and finally presley you're going to find the lowest cost with um, by a pretty <laughs> substantial margin about 10 times um, and you're also going to find the most uh, curated and the, mo the most impact and ROI focused approach to PR that is a bit more updated with today's trend of trying to build one-to-one -one relationships online and, and try to get more um, authentic coverage as a result of that. So that's wrapping it all up. Um, hope this answers all of your questions. If it doesn't, um, again, I definitely recommend checking out this article, reading through it. If you have read through the article and you still have some questions up in the air, as I've mentioned, we've done a lot of research on all three of these tools. Obviously, at Presley, we know everything about our tool that we can. And with Muckrack Incision, we have done a lot of deep research. So we are here to answer any questions you might have. Definitely reach out. If there's anything we could add to the article or clarify for you, we would love to hear it. All right. Thank you so much and hope it was helpful. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.